Okay, so there's our net ionic for that problem there. All right, so now we're going to go back to the main problem here. All right, and it wants to know, has a lot of stuff with calculations. So we're going to, let's put in our, what it gives us. We have 100 milliliters, so 0.1 liters of 0.1 molarity is the potassium sulfate and I have 0.1 liters of 0.2 molar barium nitrate. Okay, so we're going to set up our BCA table um, and the products get a zero and a zero. All right, so that's going to be so point oh one, and this is going to be point oh two. All right, and they're one to one, so my limiting is the potassium sulfate, and this is going to be plus point oh one and plus 0 0.02, so 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, okay. All right, so for this first question, how many moles of each reactant are there? So use a different, so this, so part B is answered by these two. All right, what is the limiting reagent? Limiting reagent is the potassium sulfate. How many moles of excess were left unreacted? Miss Billy. Yes. Uh huh. You scoot over your, uh, like the slide or whatever, because we can't see anything you're doing with the potassium nitrate. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's go over here. Thank you. All right. Okay. And all right. So, all right. So the moles of excess left unreactive. And uh, it says, what is the precipitate? So that's part E. All right. Is what is the precipitate, right? Let me, yeah. All right. And then it wants to know how many grams should have should form theoretically. So I got to get my molar mass. So 137.3 and 32.07 and four. Okay, so my this is 233.36. That's a three. It's my molar mass there. And okay, so. That times 233.36, okay, so 2.33 grams, and that's my answer to F. Um, okay, then wants to know what is the percent yield and up here it said that I recovered two grams of the precipitate so my percent yield so this will be for part G my percent yield is going to be the actual which was two grams over my theoretical 2.33 grams times 100. So 2 divided by 2.33, and I'm getting about 86% for that. Um, all right. And we're going to come back to H, but let's go ahead and do I, because it says if I had a 35% yield, how much of the precipitate would form? Okay, so for I, 
Um, all right. So if I have 35% equals my actual over my theoretical times 100. And so if I solve that, my actual is going to equal, let's see, 0.35 times uh, point, 0 0.82 grams would be my actual if, a, if it's a 35% yield. Okay. All right, so now we'll go back to H. It wants to know the concentration of all the ions in solution after the reaction. Okay, so here, all right, one thing I want to do is I'm going to just kind of put a box around that. That's my precipitate. So to remind me that that's a solid, and so it doesn't affect the solution, okay? But here, okay, I have... From this 0.01, it's composed of barium ions, and then I get two nitrates for every one of those based on the formula. And then for this here, I get potassium ions and nitrate ions. Let me have a highlighter so I can separate those out. Like that. Okay, so that's what I'm working with with those. So let's go over a little bit, get some more room. Okay, so let's do that. Agree. All right, so it's wanting all the ions. So the molarity of ions, I have potassium, sulfate, and uh, barium and nitrate. Okay, so the one thing that doesn't appear is the sulfate. So it's zero because it doesn't show up in the after line at all. And then for all of these, all right, if I go back and look at my original thing here. Okay, so I, I combined 0.1 liters with 0.1 liters. So my volume for all of these is going to be 0.2 liters. Okay. And then the moles I'm going to get from the after line. So the barium, it's only, it's only in there once. So it's going to be 0.01. The potassium is only right here, so it's going to be 0.02. The nitrate, I've got nitrate in two places. So that's going to be 2 times 0.01 plus the 0.02. Okay, so if I work that out... 0.02, so I get 0.1 molarity, 1 divided by 0.2, 0.05, and then 2 times 0.01 plus 0.02. I'm sorry, Miss Billy. Uh huh. Could you just cover real quick why you don't do the SO4? Uh-huh. The we're wanting the what's in solution. And because, because the SO4 was in the limiting reactant and in the precipitate, that means none of it's going to be left over to be floating around in the solution. Okay, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So I'm getting 0.2 molarity for that. OK. 
Okay. And then the last part, I think, is drawing it in the beaker, right? Particle level after it's complete. Okay. So going over. So here's my beaker. And then in the bottom is my barium sulfate. And then I'm going to have potassium ions in solution. I'm going to have barium ions in solution. And I'm going to have nitrate ions in solution. Any questions on that one? I think we're good. Okay. All right. Uh, do we need to work through another one? Yeah, if you could, that'd be really helpful. Sure. Oh, sure. Sure. Yep. All right. So let's go to the next one. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good, because this, this one is an acid base one. All right. Oh, yeah, okay, so I'd have to add the reaction types to the test, too. Identifying reaction types, that's the other thing we didn't do here. All right, so balanced equation. So I have barium hydroxide. and sulfuric acid. And that's going to give me barium. Oh, I am getting a precipitate here. Barium sulfate plus uh, water. OK. And that's two and two. So I need a two on the water. Okay. All right. Whoops. Wow. What just happened? Go back over here. All right. Okay. So this is not what to do with that sheet. I'm thinking this one is not aqueous, but let me double check that. I've got that. Do I have that table somewhere? Mm. Well, okay, hang on. I'll need to, let me find that table. I think I put it in one of the lessons. Uh, huh, did I not do that? Uh, um, I'm looking at my table and... The barium hydroxide is definitely soluble. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. Good deal. All right. So, AQ. And I believe also the, the uh, acid is also soluble. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, we would get a precipitate there. And let me go back to my screen here. All right. And then this would be liquid. Okay. So, we would get... All right, we get a barium and two hydroxides and two H plus plus SO4 minus two. And then over here, that's a solid. And then two 
H2O. Okay, so on this one, the there are no spectators. So it's a it's both the complete ionic and the net ionic. Okay. All right, so let's look at the amounts. Okay, so we've got 250 milliliters of 0.5 molarity. So 0.25 liters of 0.5 molar and I have 120 so 0.12 liters of 1.3 molarity okay all right so we get 0.25 times 0.5 so I have 0 0.125 2 times 1.3, so 0.156, of course that's 0 and 0. Okay, so these are 1 to 1, so this is our limiting. Minus 0.125, plus 0.125, and plus 0.125. And that's my precipitate uh, and 0.156 minus 0.125 so 0 0.031 I don't think the water would, would the water also be 0 0.125 oh no it wouldn't thank you let's get that's going to be there we go point Point two five and point two five. Okay. Okay, so this answers so this is answers B. So part B is these guys here. All right, and the limiting reactant is the barium hydroxide and then the moles of excess which is D so this is the answer to part D uh, precipitate is the barium sulfate so that's E um, grams of precipitate should have been formed so barium sulfate Hang on, I'm going to go back up to get that molar mass. 233.36. So 233.36. All right, so I'm going to take that times 233.36. I'm getting 29.17 grams. So that is F. Okay, and then it wants percent yield. So G is the percent yield. So the percent equals, uh, it said we had 15 grams recovered of the precipitate divided by my theoretical times 100. So 15 divided by 29.17. So I'm getting about 51.4%. All right. And let's, again, I want to go ahead and do the other one that had to involve the yield. Uh, so this is if it had a 52% yield. Oh, <laughs> Okay, let's, that's really close to the yield it has. All right, we'll go ahead and do it anyway. All right, so so this is I. So if it had a 52% yield, we have our actual, I need to change that problem. 
0.17 times 100. So this says that our actual, it's not going to be much different. Actual would be 0.52 times 29.17. So 15.2 15 grams would be if it had a 52% yield. Okay, so now let's do, go back and do H, which is the molarity of all, all of these. All right. Okay, so what did we have? Our ions, I had barium, hydroxide, make sure I'm on the screen, uh, hydrogen, and sulfate. Okay, so let's look and see what we have. So let me bring, go back up a little bit. All right, so here I have, these will be in solution. So I get two hydrogens from that and one sulfate. Um, I have, this is my precipitate. That's my solid, so no ions from that. And this, this is a liquid, so no, it's molecular compound, so no ions for that. So looking at what I've got, I don't have any barium. And I don't have any hydroxide. So the ions in solution then are going to be my hydrogen. All right, so first let's get what's our volume going to be. The volume is uh, 0.25 plus 0.12 liters, so 0.37. So 0.37 liters and 0.37 liters. And then I get 2 times 0.031 is my moles of my hydrogen. And 0.031 is moles of my sulfate. So 2 times 0.031 divided by 0.37. So I get 0.17 molarity of the hydrogen and divided by 0.37. I'm getting 0.084 molarity of the sulfate. So if I draw, to draw my beaker then, I'm going to have my, the barium sulfate is my precipitate. And then I would have hydrogen ions and sulfate ions floating in solution. So you don't have to do the water, even though it's... No, the water, since the water, the it's asking for the just the concentration of the ions and so since the water is a molecule we wouldn't need to put that in there all right okay all right there are uh wait let me go back mm. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's five more of these, and I will post the answers um, on Otis so that you can check your answers on those. But I would use those to practice for the test because this. I would say the test will probably look a lot like one of these problems. And then um, I may have um, a thing where I have you identify the reaction type. Like I'll give you the reaction and you'll tell me what type it is. Um, and then maybe a couple with the um, writing the net ionics.
Do you mean reaction type by like the like a single replacement, double okay. replacement, That's that kind I of thought. thing? Mm-hmm. Yep. So you'll and you'll be able to use that table. Uh, so you'll need uh, you'll need an ion sheet, your solubility table to identify the precipitates, the uh, reaction type table, and a periodic table. So, and I'll, I need to put that list on. I'll put that list up on Otis as well. Any questions? Okay, I will post this recording on Otis uh, if you need to see it again or Is if. Is Sears Law going to be on the test tomorrow too? Oh, forgot about that. Yeah, let's do, I pulled another Beer's Law. So let's do, before we close, let's do this practice Beer's Law and see how you guys do on this one. All right. So here's this. Okay. All right. Let me edit. Okay. Oops, too many O's. Go back one. O O two five point O O one three point O O O six five. Okay. Okay, so I'm getting All right. How do we do? Any questions on that? I got something similar. Okay. Good deal. And so for the Beers Law, uh, showing your work is you is like just like what I wrote there, where you show me the equation you got when you did the linear regression, and then work it out that way. All right. Are we good then? So, so, so uh, pr uh, go ahead. What exactly is the test going to be over tomorrow? Okay. So we'll do, all right. So it's going to be, um, all right. So I'm thinking there's like three parts. So the first would be, the solution stoichiometry. So the calculations like the ones, a problem like the one we did today or the two that we did today. Then um, reaction types. Um, so identifying the reaction type. Then um, I'll say reaction types and also being able to 
predict the products if I give you the reactants. Okay, and then um, being able to write a net ionic equation and what's the last? Oh, and Beer's Law. And Beer's Law will be a problem just like the one we just did. Okay, so, and then let's just put, so your reference tables that you'll need. Okay, so periodic table, uh, an ion sheet, um, the reaction table. The uh, solubility. solubility table, yes. Okay. Any other questions? No. Okay, I will um, post the, uh, the test will be on Otis, uh, have everything ready. Um, I don't anticipate that it's going to be a very long test, so, um, but yeah, and if you have any questions as you prepare for it, you can just email me. Um, and I need to look. I think somebody told me there were some questions on the Jamboard I hadn't answered yet, but I'll get to those as well. Okay? Okay. All right. Let me stop sharing there. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>